what can we expect from the season and will there be any big shockers? Noah, we'll start with you. Um, yeah, what can we expect from the season? It's just an entirely new kind of world and everyone's kind of split across different places. We have, we have our California crew, our Hawkins crew, our crew in Russia, and it's just all these different storylines that you kind of get to watch come together by the end. And, and it's, it's interesting because especially for Will and Eleven, we're in a new place and you finally see them out of Hawkins and, and in the beginning for Elle and Will, it just no supernatural anything, just natural high school struggles. And it's, it's interesting to see that new side. And will, will there be any shockers? Is there anything Anything you can share? Any secrets? Any shockers? Um, shockers. Um, it was shocking it took three years to come out. That was shocking. I mean, God, they took their time. It was like they were in slow-mo. It was like... <laughs> they still are. We're not done yet. No, we're not done yet. That's the thing. That's also shocking. Um, so, yeah. And then we got through a pandemic. That, that was also shocking. We filmed this during a pandemic and we stayed safe. And it during came it. out so great too. And it came out so great. There's that no, was also no extras with masks in the back. So that's no, good. That's good. Awesome. Okay. So we've watched you guys, so many of you grow up on screen. How has the show um, changed your lives? Um, it's, it's, it's definitely impacted our lives. Uh, so much we have graduated on this show and we've met each other we've been friends for over seven years and it's been an experience of a lifetime um there's lots of personal growth and there's lots of professional growth skills that we have adapted um with the amazing people we've worked with along the way and those are things that you'll never forget absolutely for sure and millie um, we love your fashion. Um, and um, I just wanted to bring this up um, a few years oh. back. I don't know if you can see it. Um, can you tell me a little bit about this pose? It's so cute. And what do you remember about choosing this look? Can you see it? I, I don't, I honestly don't remember that. <laughs> um, it was at a, a, my first red carpet BAFTA tea party. Um, but I, 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 you know what? I still rock that pose. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Grind. Yeah. And one last pose. I want to bring up this one. Amazing. Um, can you wow. tell me about this look and what you loved about this look? Well, that is um, a Louis Vuitton garment. And it was a beautiful look designed by my wonderful hair and makeup, Pete and Bustier. Um, and uh, we have uh, worked together on creating a more gothic, edgy, edgier look for me. Louis Vuitton supported that, and uh, yeah, it was a very exciting look. And um, last question, um, obviously on the same, you were uh, with Jake, how cute are you guys? Um, is it true that he appreciates your love for Olivia Rodrigo? Don't you appreciate my love for Olivia Rodrigo? I think the whole world must appreciate Olivia Rodrigo and her yeah, art. She's great. Yeah, no one's stopping me from listening to my Olivia Rodrigo. What, yeah, the, but does Jake support that? Of course. And if he didn't, he'd be getting a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> he'd be getting <laughs> that. Awesome. Room. 